Big Dave here with Family Dream Homes of Bowling Green. Today we're going to be taking a tour of a beautiful Deer Valley home. It features four bedrooms, three and a half baths. It's about 3,180 square feet. It's got two porches in it. You're not going to miss this tour, guys. So stick around. What's up guys welcome in today for another exciting home tour with big Dave dream homes i just wanted to kind of show you what we're going to be looking at today just give you kind of a brief look at the exterior here this is a triple wide folks this is 3180 square feet you see it's got the nice cedar door or a gable up there for you this here has a hardy board siding on it it's a cement fiber board so this stuff is great the bugs don't like it uh it just doesn't it doesn't rot deteriorate it's paintable. Uh, it's very low maintenance. It's got a very long warranty on it. It's really, really nice. And of course, as always, Deer Valley's got these beautiful windows with the grid lines in it, plantation style blinds. It just looks really nice. So I'm going to take you across the front of this house, kind of show you what it looks like. They got that hardy board. Now, when it's vertical like that, that's called board and bat. Uh, it's used like a bat and strips, kind of dividing the pieces off. Very uh, rustic, kind of barn looking. Sorry about all the noise behind me out here. It's a very busy highway, so I do apologize. But I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of the block foundation here. Here at Dream Homes, this is what we always do. We always put our homes on this block foundation. We use a split face texture block. Of course, on your property, that'll be mortared together. You won't have the cracks in between it and the gaps like that. But at least it gives you an idea of kind of what it looks like. Pan up here, you can see the soffit and the hardy board edging up there for your gutters. These are real cedar posts. They're not boxed. They are real. They're very heavy. I've picked up a few of those. Got some uh, composite decking right there. Got this nice hardy board fascia right here. Kind of designed for you to either leave it on a foundation like you see it right here or build out from this with a bigger porch or attached to it. Nice staircases coming off here. Uh, whatever you choose. Now this house here features three of these gables. This one here is, the, is they're all pretty much, they're all symmetrically the same. But it just kind of accents the front of that home right there, right at the middle of it. If you look up here, you see they have this nice decorative white stone, kind of sandstone look around these windows right here. This stuff is hand laid, put on these homes. Looks really, really nice. Got the black, you know, iron kind of railing on it. So it kind of all just really works. You know, it all goes together very well. Of course, we got our planters out here and I got a bee kind of, you know, humming around my head right now. So if I drop this don't uh, don't freak out but i'm gonna go ahead and come across the side here you can kind of see this is the third gable in the front of this home and i'm going to kind of pan back so you can kind of see it in a, kind of a panoramic look got a receptacle right there cover on it all right so i'm going to pan back over what we just seen and give you an idea how massive this house is normally i don't spend much time on the sides because once you see one side you see them all but this home is a triple wide, so I want to show you the kind of size, and how it looks, and how it all kind of ties together. So as you can see right here, you have your standard 312 kind of roof pitch that's coming up. This part of it up here where it ties in will be hinged. So when it arrives out on your property, it'll ship as a flat kind of looking roof. But when it arrives on your property, they'll come out here and they'll raise those, those pieces up with these jacks and tie it all together and that's where you get that 712 pitch right there you have these little dormers and little gables coming off the side here kind of uh accents it and gives you a little bit of three-dimensional kind of feel to it so it's not so just you know cookie cutter you know what i mean so as you can see over here on this side we haven't got the block out here we're just kind of displaying it on the front so you can kind of see what it looks like those tongues do come off go up underneath the home you want it removed from the frame and set like a like a traditional house on the foundation um you can do it as a modular home, which is an off-frame mod. Your Valley will do that for you. You'll just have to find a, uh, you know, setup crew. If you're not in our area, a uh, setup company or a retailer that will set those homes to those kind of current, those uh, code standards. So coming around the back right here, see your fresh water connections right there. 110 volt outlet. You have another receptacle right there. Got the vinyl right here on the siding, the little lineals around the, around the windows. Got your frostless faucet right here. Right here, you got another electrical connection right there. Got your drop coming out for your, for your, your main, like your black water, your sewer. 
come on across here see this has a back porch built in it as well as a front porch I'll post the dimensions of these porches on here for you so you can get an idea kind of how the how the size works and how much you know how big they are and all that good stuff I'm gonna go up there and show you that header I don't know if you guys remember the video tour I did a while back of the Shiloh showing you how much wood is in their headers up there but you will not believe it it's like seven or eight different two by sixes and some some one buys in there just it's just crazy how much wood the Deer Valley puts into their homes and that's kind of why they earned the reputation of being heavy built construction so they're just uh they really kind of keep the quality high they like to you uh be a very customizable builder so you can really take these things and and kind of you know <laughs> imagination is the limit kind of thing you know with them so all right i'm coming on rack around i'm kind of come back around to the front of the house where we kind of started at and give you an idea how vast this house is it's just gigantic there's a window that goes into the master bath this whole front section right here which i will show you momentarily this whole front section of this house is a closet right here so without further ado guys let's come on around here Let's go inside, check out this beautiful home. And as always, if you like what you're seeing on here, it really helps me out if you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave me some comments. It really helps out the channel and really helps get it out there and let's everybody get this information. All right, guys, let's go inside. Welcome in to the Anias by Deer Valley Homes. I'm going to shut this door so we can not get a lot of noise from the outside. But I'm just going to kind of pan around here for you to kind of take a look at this, how this lays. You got your dining room right off to the right, right as you come in the front door here. It kind of leads into the kitchen area right here. Got the black stainless appliance package in here. Beautiful island. You got the Space saver microwave over the mounted oven over there in the cabinet. It looks really, really nice. The way it fits in there. You got your nice quartz countertops throughout in this house. You got the cedar boxed ends with the receptacles on your island like that. And as always with Deer Valleys, you get the maple cabinets. Everything is soft close. All your drawers down here, the same way. Full extension, soft close. Just really, really nice. I'm gonna kind of highlight a few of these appliances real quick here. Got the Frigidaire French door style freezer and fridge combo here. Got the ice and water in the door. Big drawer space down here. Lots and lots of storage. Got a tray up there. Really nice. I'll show you how big these fridges are, man. I love these. I have one of these in my house. And the amount of storage, when you got a family of seven like I do, uh, you definitely have to have it. It really, really does help. So just really nice products. Deer Valley tries to keep the, the best of the stuff in here that they can possibly get. All right, I'm pan on around here. Yep, yep, that's a pantry. We'll go right there in just a second. <laughs> we'll pan around here so you can get a good look at this kitchen. Kind of how it comes around. I don't really have a, a particular pattern I go through. When I'm doing these tours, I just kind of go by how the house lays, and that's kind of where I go. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions on that, feel free to leave me some comments and let me know, okay? Beautiful stainless farmhouse sink. This is a three-quarter bowl, so it's a double bowl, but you have a it's, a it's a little bit bigger spacing on one side versus the other. So you have more of a, you know, kind of soap and wash part, bigger pans, smaller stuff. You can do it a lot of different ways. Got this beautiful cook top right here. Now, this is a smooth top. They have gas ranges, you can do that, you can do a regular, um, you know, like standard, you know, stove, you know, combo with an oven on it. Then you have your oven over here as well, and have a built-in oven, have two, so you'll have two of them, you know, so you can do that. So there's a lot of different ways you can kind of configure this. Lots of cabinetry all the way around. 
got this beautiful, you know, Madison kind of hood range. This looks it looks really, really good. Corner style cabinets right there. Painting all the way around. Back to the fridge where we were just at. All right. So I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do a little bit more painting here so you can kind of see how things lay and relative to where different rooms are. This beautiful cabinet up here. It's got lots of space above the microwave. Lots of storage. And this home has a ton of cabinets and it has a big pantry. So you're going to have plenty of room to store your goodies at. Look at this microwave oven combo. <coughs> Excuse me. A little hot. So my allergy is acting up. Look at this beautiful microwave. Nice and deep. It's all mounted into this nice trim plate. So it looks really nice. <coughs> Excuse me. So got the, it's the gallery edition from Frigidaire. And here's your mounted oven. Very, very nice. It's got a lot of nice space in there. So that'll cook up some really good Thanksgiving dinners if you guys like to cook. Beautiful backsplash. Got the silver travertines back here. And then you have your glass mosaic Lido band just kind of coming around here and just kind of giving it a little bit of, little bit of pop. All right, so we're going to come out of the kitchen. We're going to head back here. I'm going to show you this pantry right here. Everybody ooh and ah. Ooh, oh. I really like we we have to have pantry. It's just an essential thing at our house. There's just no way around it. So cool thing about this is is they can add receptacles in here. So say you don't need a bottom shelf right there, you wanted to have like a chest style freezer, definitely can do that. If you didn't want any of those shelves right there, you wanted to put a upright freezer, you could do stuff like that. So that's what I mean by customizable. Got a secondary living space over here that we'll go to in just a second, but I'm gonna come around the corner here. And this is right off of the kitchen. So you have your kitchen right there. Come back right to this little corridor right here. You got your first guest bathroom right here. It's really nice. It really is good access for the fourth bedroom over here or the kitchen. If you're in here and you have to make a run real quick, yeah, it's right around the corner from you. So you got a nice, nice cabinetry and sink. Got the beautiful brush brown or the brush bronze faucets and stuff. So it looks really, really good. You can't, uh, you can't really kind of fault how it looks. It's just really amazing. So, all right, I'm back out of there. Of course, you have your breaker box in this little corridor right here. So you have your breaker box there. Then this door here, you have your water heater, all piped and plumbed and all that good stuff for you. Insulated doors, furnace is right here as well. It goes up. This house has the overhead air system in it, so everything goes above your head and into the attic and everything like that. Got the insulated door right there. All right, a little pan out of this. We'll come into this secondary living space right here. So this is a really good flex room. Um, for you folks that need a fifth bedroom or need just a, you know an extra living quarters, like if you have somebody that's moving in to live with you, a parent or something along that lines, you've got this nice living area right here. And it'll fit a pretty good size bit of furniture and TV area. I mean, you've got all kinds of space. As you can see as I pan around, it's also got a nice closet in it. I don't know if anybody out there does old school game nights like we do. We do like Monopoly and board games and stuff. You have this beautiful, nice big closet with lots of shelves, nice you know, nice storage space. You can put all kinds of stuff in here. Um, but we, I'd probably tell you right now what we would have in there, and that would be all of our board games because we've got about 60 board games at our house. So. I'm going to pan around, and this fourth bedroom right here is kind of right off of this living room space. And, of course, I'll have all the sizes posted for all the bedrooms. I'm going to come in here because I want to show you the nice size closet that it has in it. So, look at this. Wraps all the way around and down. Very big, large, oversized closet with your traditional clothing hangers on there and, and shelves. Not the wire ones, so it looks really good. Of course, I'll show you up here. we got six inch crown moldings got overhead air standard light fixture and all their lights are wire and brace in the bedroom so you can always either order it from the factory with ceiling fans in it or if you ever decide to change it out and put your own in there you can do that so all right coming back out of that bedroom going back to this secondary den area here i'm going to come into the utility room now there is a side door off this part of the house right here so you can come in this end door right here if you guys are wanting to build an attached garage or a breezeway to a, another garage area or a deck or 
uh, pool area, whatever you want to do, you have that flexibility and you have that space for it. So, all right, so look at this beautiful folding counter. It's large, got a lot of space in it. Got a deep, deep wash sink. Mm -hmm. Plenty of cabinet storage all the way around as you come around there. Got a little space down there for you to put your clothes baskets or you can put a desk chair um, for doing bills or whatever. You have that flexibility. We'll pan around here. You got your shelving for over top of your washer and dryer. They go right here. Whole house shut off right over there. Everything above above the floor level, it will kill the water to it. So you don't have to worry about water pouring out from underneath the cabinets if you have a leak or something like that. You come in here, flip that valve that kills it. Um, now, if you have a leak under your house, you know, something that busts underneath the house, something like that, that will not stop that, but it will control the water inside the house that could be damaging to your products and, and, and the cabinetry and flooring and all that good stuff. So dryer vent right there. You can see how it goes through the floor and you got it kind of cut into the wall so it doesn't have to stick your dryer out so far from the, from the wall. Access panels to be able to access all the plumbing work. Got this beautiful foot locker right here. If you can see these or not, but these are, look at that. If anybody knows what they are, leave it in the comments. Tell me what you think they are. I'm not going to tell you. I know what they are, but I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be a little quiz for you, okay? All right. Got a nice seat right here. Got some cabinet storage down there for you to put just shoes, knickknacks, whatever you see fit. All right. I'm going to show you this right here as well since we're in here. There's your attic access to get up there to, to access the duct work. Um, if you ever have any kind of issues in the future with that, that gives you an access point to be able to get up there to work on those ducts, okay? All right, coming into one of the other guest bedrooms. I'm gonna show you this right here. Nice big closet. Not quite as big as that one I showed you already, but it's still a very good size closet. And I'm gonna post the size of each of these rooms individually. And I always get them backwards. I always say bedroom number two or bedroom number three. Then I look at the print and I'm like, uh, dummy, that's the wrong one. <laughs> you have put the wrong number on there. So I do apologize for that, but hey, you know what? I'm a human being, I make mistakes, so. All right, so this right here, I know there's a lot of fans out there that love Jack and Jill style baths. And this is exactly what this is. So you have, you know, maybe two kids or two people that actually get along that you think can actually manage sharing a bathroom together. Be a great space for them. Got dual sinks, beautiful mirrors, nice lighting fixtures up there. Lots of natural light coming in from this big window right here behind the toilet. Pan around here as you can see it. Of course, our patented do not use a... Uh, Toilet signs. I don't know if they're patented or not. I just said that. So, all right, come over here, show you these cabinets. You got drawer banks on both sides. Nice big drawers, big cabinets. You got a lot of nice counter space and storage um, for knickknacks and goodies, toothbrushes. And, and my wife has hair ties, makeup. She's got, I think she's got like three suitcases she keeps on her bathroom counter. So it's a lot of stuff. But I got a nice linen closet right here. So the kids are not having to run through the house looking for towels or, or whatever. You got them right there. You can put clothes hampers in there as well. And look at these oversized tubs. I love these things. These are one piece, folks. They are one piece fiberglass. They're very, very big. You can see how wide that is. It's not one of the ones like, you know, you can barely get your leg in. This is, you know, I'm a 300 plus guy and I can sit down in this tub and be very, very comfortable. Okay. All right. I'm coming to the third guest bedroom right here. So I'm post this size up here for you. I try to stop for just a second so you can kind of see. I can get all my, my lettering up there so you can see the sizes of it. We'll come around here. Same kind of closet it was in the other, as, as the bedroom we just came out of. They kind of mirror each other. Rooms are pretty much, you know, very close in size. You can see uh, beautiful windows, balances, blinds. All right, so we're going to come back here, and I'm going to go ahead and stop here at this living room let you kind of see how big this is. There's the front door where we came in a while ago. Isn't that just incredible, folks? It's just amazing how big and beautiful this this whole living space is. They really went all out and really thought of a lot of things. And I don't know if you can tell this or not, but this house is seamless. One of the cool things that Deer Valley does is when they marry the, the, the two halves or three halves together, you can't tell where it's done. There's no threshold strip. There's no raised height or anything like that. It's all flat and all seamless all the way across. I'm gonna turn and pan right here so you can see this electric fireplace. Now that can be wood burning, it can be stone, um, gas. They have a lot of different options for it, but uh, it's just a really nice focal point in this living room. It kind of draws your eyes when you come in and it kind of centers things up and gives you good balance too. So, all right, I'm gonna come over here to the third 
bathroom so far. This is a little half bath. This is for, you know, when your guests come over and you don't really want them going through your bedrooms or in your personal belongings or nothing like that. Just a little half bath, real simple for them to use uh, and do it, you know, what they need to do and all that good stuff. You got nice drawer storage right there. Got the brush bronze faucets. Nothing crazy in here, just keeping it simple. It's just a, a dedicated space for company or just a quick bathroom break really quick. If you're having a movie night and you want people running all through the house and all that good stuff. As you can tell, I speak from experience, folks. Most definitely. All right. I'm going to come back across this living room. We're going to go out in this back porch right here. I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like. It's just really, really cool. This is a very nice size back porch. And, of course, you see it's got the storm door in there. So it helps keep it nice and sealed, keep the bugs and critters and the wind out and all that good stuff. As you can see, as I pan around here, just how nice and big this is. So he goes right into the living room. We've got this beautiful hardy. I'm going to try to get up close so you can really kind of see. It looks like wood. It's got all the grains in it and all the, you know, the same textures and feels. But you can go to uh, Sherman Williams and pick out any color that they have in their color wheel. And if you have this siding put on your house with Deer Valley, they will paint your house whatever color you choose. So it's a really, really nice customizable feature that kind of can set your house apart from everybody else. Okay. Got the beautiful composite floor decking right here. And we've seen outside a while ago, beautiful cedar post. These headers are just, just ridiculous. I can't, I just can't wrap my brain around it sometimes how much wood they actually put in these houses. Beautiful white hardy board lineals around the windows with the grids. Got those the faux wood style kind of blinds in there. Just looks, just looks amazing. Got a receptacle right there in the corner if you can see it or not. So got a place to plug up your goodies out here, plug up the radio or whatever all right well we're getting close to getting through this tour got just a another room a couple rooms to go real quick here all right guys coming into the master bedroom or primary bedroom as some have called it so beautiful space really really nice we've got some furniture in here to kind of give you an idea kind of what what it can look like and it really doesn't do it just this is a queen size bed to kind of give you an idea and there's enough room on there for a very, very huge uh, end table on both sides. So, got plenty of room. This furniture isn't small. Got a nice size dresser right here and mirror combo. Got the beautiful six inch crown moldings here. Really kind of sets off this room. And I don't know if you can tell or not, but they have a, a gray color on the walls. It's called, I think it's called agreeable gray, if I'm not mistaken. And it really kind of gives that white a nice pop, a nice contrast against it. Now this is not a, this is what they call linen white. So this is more of a white white. And then you have uh, like a, an alabaster. There's several different kind of tones of white. So I'm going to show you right here, air vent. Right down here as you come in the door, kind of over top of this little chest of drawers right here. Down towards the foot of the bed area. Then over here you have one right over top of the master bed. If you put it in this location. So really nice. Got double door entrances coming into the master bath. My wife loves this bathroom. She likes a big bathroom. So, you know, got a lot of stuff. Got to have a big bathroom. So, I think it's a prerequisite when you get married, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, beautiful vanity area. She's got a place to, or he or whoever, has a place to sit down and kind of do their makeup or just chill there and comb your hair, whatever you want to do. Beautiful big mirrors. Got three of those going all across there. Lots of lighting. Lots of nice cabinet storage right down there. Got the brushed bronze faucets. Got tons of light switches here. <laughs> Plenty to keep you busy flipping for hours if you have little kids, so they'll have a great time. Three receptacles across the back. You can see right there, so you got plenty of room to plug up your stuff. Curling iron, flat irons, you know, whatever kind of irons and hair dryers you got. Of course, you have Deer Valley's signature shower right here. This is the four foot by, you know, 96 inch, eight foot shower right here, so... Uh, it's got a fiberglass pan in it. This one's also available in the full tile pebble stone base. Um, so it lowers that lip a little bit. So, you know, if you have somebody that has problems with their hips or their knees, it really does help you kind of, you know, transition out of the showers without having to raise your legs, your feet up very high to do so. So got a nice, beautiful tile in there. Got the fiberglass seats you can sit down. Got the detachable sprayer wand over there. Rain shower head above you. Just really, really nice. So. Not going to be disappointed at all, I promise you. All right, I'm going to pan around here. Check out this shiplap wood accent wall right behind the tub here. 
kind of framed it in, kind of made it look, that window look like a pitcher, you know. Just really nice. Got that cedar trim around it. Then coming down here. Uh-oh, what is that? Is that a jacuzzi tub? Oh my goodness, it is. Love jacuzzi tubs. This is um, the cool thing about the ones that Deer Valley uses. They use an inline heating system inside their tubs. So, you know, if you got a 50 gallon water heat, you know, water heater, and you're trying to fill this thing up and keep that water hot while it's circulating. Sometimes it's very hard to keep up with. Um, so the great thing about these inline heater systems is that it kind of reheats that water and keeps it circling, keeps it warm for you. So you're not running all your hot water and your electric up trying to just keep it, you know, keep your water warm for you. So, and this is very nice. It's got several jets in it. Very comfortable. My wife's already cleaned this, and somehow I got to figure out a way to put it in my house. So, uh, just just wanted to kind of you know point that out. I think you really like that. All right, got the private throne, throne room for the king and the queen here. Got a beautiful amount of space. It's not crowded at all. I'm a big guy, you know, and I, I hate tiny, tiny spaces. So this room is very, very nice for that. Gives you plenty of elbow room. Got an exhaust fan light right there to kind of clear everything out and you got some privacy so you can be in here your you know your partner can be in here doing other stuff in the bathroom you're not going to be invading each other's space all right guys now a closet normally i don't post you know sizes on but this one here is literally as big as one of the bedrooms so i will post the size of this closet for you so you can take a look and see check out this foot locker right here isn't that crazy yeah, just it's just beautiful. This is a place in your master closet. Sit down, take your shoes off, you know, tie your shoes. Me, you know, I get out of breath just trying to tie my shoes. So, you know, <laughs> it's nice to have a place to sit and do that. But you don't have to have that. You can take that out. You can option it out if you so choose. Um, your people that put islands in here, you have plenty of room for that. You have a nice little linen closet right here, or AKA the husband's closet is what we like to call it. It's just a, just a space that uh is just kind of enclosed by itself you can shut the door and uh most people kind of put towels and things like that their laundry baskets and stuff but just a just unbelievably huge room right here so this comes around the corner if you notice that space that you're seeing right there that's a little half bath so on the other side in the, in the main living room so they give you this nice little cutout right here uh, depends on what your your hobbies are but i have already dubbed this gun safe area for me um, it's just a perfect location for it. It's out of the way. I got this beautiful window. Puts a lot of natural light in here. And I'm going to show you these blinds. Being the heavier duty blinds like they are, when you dim them up and you close them, you know, it, it really does kill down a lot of light in here. So, still lets in light, but it also they're almost like a blackout. So they kind of really keep it where you get some privacy in here while you're changing and doing whatever else you need to do. I'm going to open those back up. Get out of the dark here. All right. See all, see all these beautiful shelvings coming around here. you got plenty of places to hang dresses and stuff. Your longer dresses, uh, taller outfits like that are going to be in like suit bags or protective stuff. You have plenty of room there because there's no bottom shelf to kind of crumple it up. Got some nice little storage shelves right here. I've already had several people do these in shelves. Now, if you like shoe storage, um, they can angle these shelves down just a little bit. To kind of give you that tilted look where you can put like shoes on them so like i said very customizable a lot of stuff you can do with it come over here got another double shelf area right here for hanging clothes it's a lot of really good space all right well, we're gonna come out of this master extra closet bedroom area <laughs> over here and come back out into the main part of the house so guys as always i really appreciate you guys tuning in uh, be sure to leave me some comments and and, and and just kind of tell me what your likes and dislikes are, any suggestions, anything I can do. Um, I want to always try to take those into consideration and do the best job I possibly can for you guys. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. so much for taking this tour with me today. If you'd like more information about this home, be sure to check the links down in the description. Uh, I have the website on there that has the links to it. So you can go in there and check the core, all the different options out there and uh, find out a little bit more information about this house. Again, I really do appreciate all the, all the comments I've been receiving on, uh, on the YouTube channel, 
Um, I really love responding to those. I try to get to everybody. If I miss you, I do apologize. Um, but keep leaving those comments if you have questions. And that goes for any of the videos that are on the channel. You can always go back and put comments on them once you watch them. And I'll, and I'll check them out daily. And I will try my best to answer those. And if I can't service you because it's outside of my area, um, chances are I know somebody or have, can help you kind of find that connection that will help you get the home. Um, and just because I can't service you doesn't mean maybe you still can't get this house. So um, I'll try to help in any way I can. And if there's anything I can do, you know, be sure to let me know. Um, pricing information like that, you can go to my link down there in that description. It's got my uh, phone number to my office here. It's got my email address on there as well. And I'll be more than happy to go over pricing with you guys. So again, I really do appreciate everything and all the constructive criticisms and, and comments that I've been getting. And be sure to uh, you know like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way it gets the content out there and you'll be notified also of any new content that gets posted to the channel. So guys, until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Be safe.